of young men in this room who don't realise what men of my age have had to put up with. We've seen everything change. We caught the fag end of when men were in charge. Properly in charge. I've got a pair of bollocks and a day job. I must be in charge. <laughs> men used to walk about doing nothing. <laughs> Wearing their pants. <laughs> they come home, they put the money on the table, and they walked about in their pants. <laughs> My old man did nothing. If he shut a cupboard door, he thought he was helping out. <laughs> Shut that door for you, Sylvie. <laughs> I'm going down to the pub for a week. <laughs> That's when men could go down the pub without asking. Man had the right to go down the pub. Oh, man, he'd be sitting there in his big chair. We're all lined up on the sofa like that. My mum's up on Nutton Valium over there. <laughs> she knows what day it is. <laughs> She's sitting there. The old needing line would come on. <laughs> and he'd look at us and go, fuck that. <laughs> Straight out the door. What did he say to her? <laughs> if you want to go down the pub now as a man, you've got to ask. You've got to be considerate. <laughs> if you want to go out Friday, you've got to take a long run up. <laughs> you've got to start weighing her up Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> Where is she? How is she in herself? Because this is the key to a woman. You'll see women say to each other, how are you in yourself? And men stand there, you don't know what you're talking about. Because a woman will go through changes through the night even. She goes to bed all right. She wakes up in the morning. She looks in the mirror and she's out. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm only having a fat, ugly day. <laughs> and she comes and finds you to tell you. <laughs> you land on the settee, trying to watch the planet's funniest animals. <laughs> she comes and gets in your face. Look at me. Look at me. I'm having a fat, ugly day here. You're not trained for this stuff. You don't know what to say. Well, don't go out then. <laughs> Come away from that window. <laughs> we'll never sell the house. Come away from the window then. Because <laughs> a man's got a decision to make. What sort of a woman he's going to end up with? In the sexual arena, it's very varied. Women have got a huge sexual range, because you'll meet a woman, she's fantastic in bed. Do what you like, sort yourself out, son. <laughs> but what runs parallel with this, she's fucking mental. <laughs> she's prone to attack. <laughs> she's got her own mood swing in the front garden. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. But you're thick as shit. <laughs> you're a man, you're getting good sex. You start thinking, oh, I'll get myself a stab proof vest. <laughs> Crash helmet. I'm gonna get one of them taser sticks. <laughs> Keep her up. <laughs> but then you meet a nice one, kind, caring, can't do enough for you. She says, do you want a sandwich? Do you want a sandwich, babe? <laughs> you don't want a sandwich. Well, when do you want your sandwich? <laughs> But she's useless in bed. She's having none of it. <laughs> Don't point that at me. <laughs> Who do you think you are, a porn star? Put it away. <laughs> you felt thinking, well, she does make a nice sandwich. <laughs> I like a sandwich. <laughs> Maybe I could see a prostitute a couple of times here or something. <laughs> And the alcohol thing has changed everything as well, because women used to be taken out every now and then. Do you want to come out, babe? You know, just <coughs> sit there laughing at all my stupid jokes. <laughs> you know, she got a few little, uh, I don't know, a Dubonnet or something. <laughs> and the man got tanked up and she had to worry about him. 
Whereas now, it's gone right the other way. Thank God women have said, you know what, you're getting drunk, I'll fucking show you how to get drunk. <laughs> Thank God for it. So you go to a party, you're with a friend there, having a little chat. What's, yeah, well, yeah, no, he's, he got it in the nut, the geezer, then. <laughs> Someone comes over and says, Carl, the wife's had a few, ain't she? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you walk down the hallway. Have a look in the front room. She's off her nut. <laughs> She's dancing up there. Come on, everyone! Let's have a conga! She's trying to get the garden door open. She thinks it's 1972. And you go over, you go, do you think you should slow down a bit, love? Shut up. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Come and have a dance for me, come on. <laughs> the wine consumption is what's done it. The wine industry have convinced women this is not a drink to enjoy with a meal. <laughs> no. Start banging away nice and early with this. <laughs> it's 12% proof. What harm could happen? <laughs> If I turned up to a party with a can of special brew, questions would be asked. Well, they go, all right then, mate. The women, oh, up past seven, boss, that's your first one. <laughs> Two or three before they leave the house, then they get there, cut the chill bottles of wine, bang, bang, here we go. Look sophisticated at half seven. Ooh! Gillian's drinking Pinot Noir! <laughs> But at half one in the morning, when you're holding her little hand, and she's crouched over a drain, <laughs> pulling her knickers to one side, <laughs> pissing like a camel, <laughs> giving you a hard time. <laughs> What'd you let me drink all that wine for? <laughs> it's gone right through me, that Pinot Noir. What year was it? <laughs> it's great, though. It's great that we've got to that point. And you get her home. She gets a second wind. Ooh, come upstairs, come and sort me out upstairs. <laughs> oh, no. But you go up and you jump on because you're a good man. <laughs> and then you hear in the darkness, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> it's a dilemma for a man. You don't have to hurry up or go and get a bowl. You don't know what to do. <laughs> are you out or were you out? <laughs>